Once the integration is fully set up, you can create or add template Google Docs from your Google Drive. But make sure you know the name of your folder in your Google Drive. If not, you can ask the person who is in charge. Then you can log in to your Gmail account. In your Gmail account, go to Google Drive and then search the folder. Okay. So this is the folder connected to your managed back. As you can see in my screen, I already created five folder for my class. So you can add more folders here. It's easy to create a folder. Just right click and create folder. And then you can click create. So it means that this folder is for your grade eight. Okay. Now, to add template, just open the folder of your class. Okay, I will use exam. I will use MYP five as my example. Okay, so I will open the folder, and inside this folder, I can create template for my activity worksheets or exam you can click new to create a new template okay so you can use google docs spreadsheet or slides okay. so this one is examples okay let's say we will write this one as demo and so your template is now ready if you have file in your computer and you want to use that file you can upload that file in your google drive just right click click upload files find the file and then click open so as you can see I have these two files so the file from our computer we need to save this file into Google Docs okay. so we will open this file into Google Docs So we will rename, it's okay. And we have to save us, save us Google Docs. And your template is now ready. But before we can use this template, we need to share this template to our student so they can edit these documents okay open the documents or open the file and click share make sure you select this anyone at your school with this link can edit and then click done okay so another here so click share Make sure you select this option, anyone at your school, with the link can edit, and then click. Done. And now, you are now ready to share these two documents in your students. Okay, now we are going to add that template to our new task. So select the class and then go to test unit and then 
click add new task we will use this Google Docs integration okay so click that one and then it will ask you to add a new template and demo and details and you can assign this document okay assign to students individually so you can select the file go to your drive go to your folder and then go to your class and select the template and the good thing is that you can uh, you can select students who will use that template let's say only one student can use that template so it's none and then I will select the students and then click save okay so as you remember I created two templates so we will add again new template so let's say this is my demo to template and the details and then individually also and then select file from your tribe okay folder and same plus for now we will use the second template and we are going to assign students who will uh, answer that template so let's say these two students and then click save as you can see in my first activity or worksheet i have one student and my second activity i have two students and then i can click save okay now click overview to check if your demo activity is ready so so this is on my right side this is my student view and on my right side uh, left side is my my, my manage pad okay so if my students write something here so i will type in region so okay so what else we chicken pause and something so it's updated always so you can see that your students is working during your class so that how google doc integration works in your manage pad so you can see also here that when you open the file of the documents of your students you can uh, give the student points so it is 30 out of 30 and then you can add comments and you can also uh, hide it if you want so it's more space to check and then you can show it again click details okay and here so if you have um, many students, all of your students do the worksheet, you can just click this one and then select, okay? So as you can see, I only just select one student and it says other students is not applicable. But if I shared this document to one of my students here, then he can receive this one or she can receive this one also. And it says here, yeah, it will appear on the status wheel in progress okay so that is how a google docs works difference of using google docs integrations and dropbox is when you use a dropbox the student will download the file and then the student will answer after they finish they will upload it again okay but google docs integration is no need to download okay no need to download the student will do the work online
that is the difference of Google Docs integrations and Dropbox integrations. So thank you for watching. I